Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. Today I want to show you a recipe that my Nana is kind of known for throughout the summer. It's her potato and tuna salad, and it's also one of my brother Sal's all-time favorite summer dishes. We love it, and we eat it literally all summer. And I posted a picture a couple of weeks ago on Instagram. I made it for lunch for Joe and I, and we were eating it outside, and so many of you, like everyone, asked for the recipe. So I'm thrilled to share it with you because it's simple and it's easy. Um, it doesn't require a whole lot of stuff, but all together just makes it amazing. All right, the ingredient list, of course. Of course, you'll need potatoes. These are regular baking potatoes. These uh, are that's about a pound and a half or so. Then what you need are some tomatoes. These were grown right next to uh, where we live, so they're really beautiful and they're nice and firm but sweet. In Italy, we call these tomatoes for salads, so they're perfect for that. Parsley, red onion, lemon. This is some tuna that's been canned in olive oil that I've drained. It's my favorite kind, so that's what I always go to. These are some Castavellano, called Castavellano, whatever you want to call it, green olives. These are some Italian green olives. Whoa, buddy, that I've just rinsed a little to get rid of some of the salt. These, do you remember when I shared these with you right around holiday season? These are the marinated or pickled eggplant that we make. And I jar it, I make a lot of them, and I jar them, and I keep them in the pantry for a long time. They're great to eat with your antipasto or thrown in salads or just as a sandwich. I have some of these, and I always add some in, so I'm going to add some here today. You need olive oil and some salt. Additionally, you can add cooked green beans, you can add different kinds of lettuce, you could add baby artichokes that have been steamed, whatever your heart desires, but these are the base, so these are what I'm going with. Okay, let's cut up the potatoes. These have been peeled, of course. I'm gonna just cut these into chunks about, about that big. Not too small, but not too big. And what I have here is a saucepan with some water. And when it comes to cooking potatoes, you wanna cook them into it with, um, you know, of course in water with a good pinch of salt, kind of like you would pasta, except you start the potatoes in cold water. You never want to cook your potatoes in boiling water because if you add cold potatoes to boiling water, they kind of like seize up and they don't cook all the way through evenly. So by cooking them in cold water and bringing the water to a temperature with the potatoes at the same time, it allows for them to cook nice and evenly. I'm going to finish chopping up the rest of my potatoes and then we'll get cooking. Add my potatoes right in, along with a good pinch of salt. Turn my stove on. Uh, ready, ready. And I'm gonna just let that cook until the potatoes are nice and tender, but they're not super tender and falling apart. We're not making mashed potatoes here, so I'm gonna let that go. In the meantime, I'm just gonna chop up my veggies, and I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Look at these tomatoes, look how cool these are. These look like they're gonna be really unripe and bitter, but they're not. They're actually really, really sweet, and they're fabulous, but they are still somewhat firm. So it's really weird. It's not, I, when I saw them first, I thought they were gonna be like a regular Roman tomatoes, but they're not, and they're lovely for salads. So I'm just gonna chop up my tomatoes. I'm gonna slice my onion into half moon, chop up my parsley, and then we'll get tossing and cooking and eating and yum, yum, yum. So I've got pretty much all of my ingredients in here. My potatoes are cooked, I drained them. You want them to be tender, but like I said, you don't want them to fall apart. You want them to cool slightly, but you don't want your potatoes to be fully cold before you add them to your salad, because otherwise, when the potatoes are cold, they create almost like a shell on the outside, and the very outside layer will taste great, but the inside, like no flavor will actually penetrate on the inside. That's why you want to do this when it's warm, and then leave it in the fridge to cool and set. Okay, to this beautiful mixture, you need a pinch of salt. It looks like a lot of salt, but it really isn't, plus potatoes need salt. A good drizzle of good quality extra virgin olive oil. Then, my favorite things, one of my favorite things in the entire world are my little pickled marinated eggplant, whatever you want to call them. And if a little bit of the marinade goes in there, that vinegary, taste is fantastic, except don't make this for my Uncle Tony with my eggplants in it, because he is not a fan of vinegar. Okay, so you've got that. Then you need a good squeeze of lemon, not too much. Give everything a good toss, break up the tuna a bit, add the potatoes, and then just really carefully and with patience, 
you just mix everything together. You can add a drizzle more of olive oil if you want to, which I think this will need because potatoes really drink up oil. You don't want it to be dry, you know? Plus, this is going to feed a lot of people, so you want to make sure every bite is fantastic. Look how gorgeous. Oh, this is the sight of this makes me happier than you could possibly imagine. That is pretty much it. Now all this needs is a quick cleanup, cover it, pop it in the fridge to cool, let it set for about an hour or so till it cools and then you're ready to dig in. I'm just gonna dig in now because I'm so impatient and I love all these flavors. So I'm just gonna give this a taste so that I can also tell you about seasoning and whatnot. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's easy. It's a fantastic dinner. It could be a great lunch, great leftovers. You have to make this this summer. It's one of the easiest things in the world, but I promise you it'll become one of your go-tos. Go to lauraintheekitchen.com to get the written recipe. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.